Do 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 opening mail packs. The video where I open my mail as if it's sealed boosters because I forgot what I ordered. It's Leah here and we've got another Card Kingdom one. The last Card Kingdom one I thought was either going to be my pauper deck that I wanted to build or something else. Since it was something else, this one should be, I don't know, half of the pop deck. The other half was cards I owned. This one will be cards I need. I don't think this had a sticker in it. Surprise! Card Kingdom mail pack without a sticker? Crazy. So, a null. We're building a, a mono blue fairies. Which I renamed to Fairy Ninjas because it turns out half of the, uh, the cards in it are just ninjas. Ninja of the Deep Hours. It used to be a really hard card to come by because it was only in that Plane Chase deck. Fairy Miscreants. Origins. Spell Pierce. I decided I liked the Ixalan Spell Pierce if I had to buy a Spell Pierce. Biotransference was just kind of tossed into the order to get up to free shipping it's definitely not a pauper legal card but it seems like a good pickup before it gets any harder to find mutagenic growth that that's for the uh the pauper fairies you, you just pay life for that you don't worry about the green that was probably a bad design decision to just have cards that cost life with no mana restrictions. This one isn't too bad because what are you going to do with it on turn one? I'm glad I didn't really keep a lot of this guy from uh, Kaldheim here. This rogue. He's neither a fairy nor a ninja, but goes in the deck labeled fairies and not ninjas. And got some of him. Shuring Grotto. So this was a card that I put into a Tron deck based on an older list. And it didn't even end up staying in the deck very long. So now I'm just foiling out my Innistrad collection. Um, one M20 Fairy Miscreant. So there, play set of Fairy Miscreants. And then a Soul of Wind Grace because it was on my to get list. There's a look at the kitties secret layer as part of the Magic Fest Philadelphia box set that has a reprinting of Lord Wind Grace in it. So I thought maybe I would build a deck around that card finally. I've never built Lord Wind Grace. And. Soul of Wind Grace seems like a card simply by the name of the card because it has the word Wind Grace in it. Could fit in the deck, so picking it up as an option. Haven't designed the deck yet, so don't even know if that'll end up in the deck. But I don't have the Lord Wind Grace card yet either. So we'll we'll see. Maybe it'll be worth. Picking up didn't cost very much. It was fine. 